Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Well, last season, DeMar DeRozan set the all-time record for consecutive games with over 35 points and above 50% field goal shooting, surpassing the great Wilt Chamberlain. DeMar said, quote, as a fan of the history of the game, to have the privilege of these opportunities, it's something I never take for granted. Brian? Oh, incredible. Thanks, Alec. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. And at forward, it's DeRozan and Williams. Nasumu is out there with Zach Levine. And it's Vucevic in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Washington, in the middle, it's Porzingis with Kuzma by his side. Morris and Beal are the backcourt pair. And it's Barton in at the three. Oh, guys, the city of Chicago is used to the highest standard. The shadow of those Michael Jordan teams still looms large. Here we go. And so off the tip, it's Washington. Here's Morris. Pass to Porzingis. Now here's Kuzma. Back to Porzingis. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. It feels like once you get a taste of winning, you never want that to end, Grant. But the reality is, for most franchises, it does end for long periods of time. I hope the fans do appreciate this current Bulls team. There's something to be proud of. And Washington with possession. Morris outside. Pass to Kuzma. From deep, Barton. And rebounded by Zach Levine. Here's the Sumu. DeRozan outside. Fires from the wing. He squares up and DeMar sinks it. DeRozan. A nice make there from DeMar DeRozan, who is so strong on the offensive end. Morris outside. Pass to Kuzma. To the inside. Here's Porzingis. And slammed it home. And a foul. A chance at another point at the line. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. I think he can get back to that, Grant. You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. That free throw good from Porzingis. And looking at the way the game is played now, Smitty, feels like you'd be a perennial all-star. All right, B.A., I appreciate that. Certainly, it would be a lot of fun to play in this wide-open style, but not fun to switch on guys like LeBron and Embiid. Here's the Sumu. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Clock is at three. Jacks up a three. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. Selfless play by Vucevic. Giving it away to a ready shooter. Morris passes to Barton. Here's Porzingis. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Here's Desumu. Here's Levine. And Porzingis with the block. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And the shot goes in. That That's nice work stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. For Washington, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Pass to Beal from deep. Williams grabs the board. DeRozan outside. Fires, top of the key. And that one hits the back iron. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Barton, the pass to Beal. Morris outside. Williams against Kuzma. The fadeaway J is off the mark. And Chicago has possession. 
Their first look at this year's Washington squad. <laughs> no one was surprised last year when they won their season series against this team. And most people expect this to be a repeat of that, too. They just seem to match up very well whenever they play these guys. You can tell they have a ton of confidence. You know, Zach Levine's never averaged fewer than double-digit points in his career. But he didn't get picked for the All-Star team until his seventh season. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. You know, one area where Levine improved in his first All-Star season was efficiency, Smitty. You're correct. The scoring totals were always impressive, but his effective shooting percentage took a big jump up. Zach's playing the smartest basketball of his career. Both free throws good from Levine. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Washington's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Morris passes to Beal. On the wing, Kuzma. Williams defending. Puts it up from 17. And it's in. Off the glass. You have to respect Kyle's mid-range game. When you don't, he'll hurt you with this shot. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Well, the 27th pick in 2017, Kyle Kuzma made first team all-rookie. He was displaying just sort of significantly better shooting in the pros than he did in college at Utah. for three-point shooting last season. The Bulls, fourth. Just so efficient from downtown last season. The threes are a big part of this team's offensive game plan. Well, you look at Kuzma's shooting percentages. His rookie season still is most efficient, Grant. Yeah, B.A. I mean, he stayed at about that same level. But as an offensive-minded player, if he can progress a little, that would certainly help his value. Clock at six. Pass to Vucevic. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Kuzma. The Wizards have gone four of eight and looking in control. Barton outside. Morris passes to Porzingis. Over Williams. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist from Morris. Porzingis has got nine. You can tell he's feeling it. Hasn't missed a single shot all quarter. Back to DeRozan. He's got a piece of it. In a bump this quarter, he's trying to shoot his way out of it. A oh, nice shot by Morris. Same Slick Morris. feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Pass to Desumu. Now Levine. Back to Desumu. Goes up at the elbow. And no good. And Washington the other way now. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. Porzingis passes to Beal. Shoots over Levine. Beal, no good. Chicago trailing here. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Count it. 
He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Now here's Morris. Kuzma outside. Back to Morris. From downtown. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Chicago has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Nice D from Beal. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Beal. He just couldn't put it together in that loss to Indiana. Drops in the three. A volume three-point shooter. Beal knows he has the green light to shoot threes whenever he wants. Here's DeRozan. Trailing by five. Pass to DeSumo. Outside, Williams. Now Vucevic. Who poked away. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. And he was Boys fouled down. while in the act of shooting, Zach so Levine. he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. It's on Zach Second Levine. And the bank Kuzma goes on the attack, the making the sure Wizards. to play into the foul. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point, doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. Man, they're just having their way, bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. Last season, Washington was hot out of the gates. They started 10-3, and three, but things did not end well. You know, and after that hot start, B.A., a 25 and 44 ending for the Wizards, failing to make the play in game as well. Just a disappointing season after the promise Washington showed early. Kuzma hits them both. It's Smitty, what you like about this Bulls offense, they tend to take good shots. Reason why, BA, they've got veteran scores who are disciplined, patient. It's difficult for defenses to speed them up. Goran Dragic has developed that beautiful teardrop, making himself a more versatile scorer. Right, the pass to Achimura. Outside Davis. Shot clock at six. Shoots over White. Davis misses. Chicago with the ball. It's a five-point game. Outside for Green. White, the pass to Dragic. They grab their own miss. Back to White. This one for three. That one's in there. Drummond with the assist. Love what Drummond did on that play. Kept his eyes up, and he was being unselfish. Right against Dragic. Right, the pass to Gafford. White against Davis. Let's it go from the wing. Drummond grabs the miss. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Pass to White. And here is Green. The floater. Up again. Back to White. Down low. Here's Bradley. And he hits Tony it to Bradley. tie the game. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Wizards have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Right, the pass to Achimura. It's right on the wing, defended by Dragic. Here's Achimura. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. White against Davis. And that one is stuffed Kobe right White. through. Can't let White get deep positioning. When he does, he's finishing it with power. And the Wizards call time here. They're moving on after a tough loss they took at the hands of the Pacers. Yeah, I think they'd like to forget that game. They usually want to find some teaching moments, but in this case, it might be best to just destroy the tape. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we overanalyze things. Can be better to just let it go.
Wizards making a change here. Avdias checked in. Washington trailing. Pass to Davis. Right outside. Back to Davis. Hachimura outside. No good on the triple. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Now here's Green. Here's Bradley. Checked by Davis. Outside White. Shot clock at five. Let's it fly. And it's Green missing. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. And it's good for two. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Right against Dragic. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining. Pass to Drummond. Two minutes. Here's Bradley. Outside for Green. Here's Bradley, wide on the wing. Over Achimura. And out of bounds, the Wizards will take it. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. And the Bulls making a change here. Caruso is checked in. And there's 138 left to play in the first. Dragic against right. Pass to Abdia. The three ball. That one is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They're coming off that win against the Heat. Yeah, they were able to execute offensively in a hostile environment, which led to a lot of high percentage shots. Rarely frat. So they play with a pretty even temperature, in my opinion, throughout this entire game. 2022 saw Goran Dragic making a bunch of moves. He got shuffled around the league a lot. Here's right. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. I love how Davis sees the floor, especially when he gets it to the open teammates. Caruso outside. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Drummond up and in on the layup. And the Bulls lead by two. Effort play pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. Got a piece of it. Green in the post. Dragic outside for three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Showing the range. Dragic hits enough of these to keep the defense honest. Caruso against Davis. Pass to Achimura. Right outside. The three is up. Rebound by the Bulls. Drummond's got six rebounds now in the game. To the paint. Here's Caruso. Alex oh, and Caruso. makes it with the kiss. Assist and now it's a seven-point oh, Bulls lead. God. That's all focused by Alex Caruso, absorbing the contact and getting the finish. It's good if it goes. Oh, he got it up in time, it's but it wouldn't fall for him. Quarter. And so it's You're Chicago wizards. closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. We'll be right back with you shortly. T 
DC Bill. A big round of applause. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. Chicago leading. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Andre Drummond is out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's Caruso in at the point guard position. Drummond with the bucket. Drummond. Drummond's got six points. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Bulls? The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. And also, the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting DeMar in transition. DeRozan. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, DA. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team, and Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Caruso. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. And, yep, Andre it's good. Drummond. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. It's Beal on the wing. He's covered by Levine. Beal to pass to Achimura. DeRozan, left side. And the dunk the by DeRozan. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Now a timeout called by Washington. You know, the Wizards really came up short last season on the defensive end. They consistently struggled to get stops, which makes it twice as hard to win games. Chicago. The Sumu comes in for Caruso. Washington shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. You just wonder how the Wizards can remedy their defensive weaknesses from last year. Well, B.A., mindset is a big part of it. They just need to have better focus on pressuring the ball handlers and making sure shots are getting well contested. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. So we'll see Kristaps Porzingis go to the line here. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. First team foul. At the line for the Wizards, Kristaps Porzingis. Find the lane. Shooting. Find the lane. One. One shot. That free throw good from Porzingis. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look. Sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about...
protecting yeah. players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down Shooting to the players, the doctors, the team exactly. overall, just being One smart shot. and having a big picture about the injuries. One shot. One shot. That free throw, good from Levine. Well, Grant, one thing Levine has done since entering the league, he's taken his strength training very seriously. No question. I mean, he can play a much more physical brand of ball now. We even see him post up with his back to the basket, converting through contact. It's just part of his overall evolution. Avdia can't get it to go. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. 2022 was a tough year for Patrick Williams. It was only five games into his second season when he went down with a bad injury. Two shots. Free throw drops for Williams. Well, Smitty, it was so hard to see a young guy like Patrick Williams get hurt. It was, B.A., just starting to really develop. And then he has to overcome a major setback. Luckily, he's healthy, strong, and young, and he'll bounce back. And good on the second, so he makes them both. What I appreciate about Patrick is that he plays his role well. Doesn't play outside of himself. Pass to Beal. Levine with a steal. Over Avdia. Another shot. And it's Williams with the bucket inside. And the Bulls lead by 19. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Levine with a steal. And the lamp is good off the glass. Levine's got five points now this quarter. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Pass to Avdia. Back to Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. Here's the sumo. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Barton. That one falls. He's now one for three. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Pass to Vucevic. Back to Dasumu. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. Dasumu's got nine points. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Here's Avdia. Beal outside. The three. DeRozan with the rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Williams passes to DeRozan, and here's Levine. They get the rebound, and Vucevic slams it in. Great positioning by Vucevic. Hustle points for the big man. Barton outside. Outside for Zingas. Pass to Morris. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. To give you an idea of how good the Bulls were last season, they spent 56 days atop the Eastern Conference, but ultimately they couldn't overcome the injury to Lonzo Ball. Shooting two. That free throw good for Morris. 
And Smitty, that was the story in the East last season. So many injuries. It was, B.A., both in the regular season and in the playoffs. They had that next man up mentality. But when one of your stars goes down, there's not much you can do. Kuzma's checked in for Avdia. And the Bulls also making a change. White, he's checked in for Williams. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. Vucevic against Porzingis. To the middle. Here's White. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. Vucevic has got three assists now in this one. The Wizards have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Morris passes to Kuzma. Porzingis with it. Pass to Morris. It's Beal on the wing. Six on the shot clock. And the officials call a traveling violation. And a big reason why they're behind is because of the turnovers. Wright's checked in for Morris. Your wizard, Delon Wright. DeRozan against Kuzma. Knocks it loose. Here's Wright. Lays it up and banks it in. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Chicago's gone three of six from deep so far. DeRozan passes to White. Here's Desumu. Hounded by Wright. Outside Levine. Back to Desumu. Three-pointer, Vucevic. Second shot opportunity, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. This is no surprise. With his athleticism, DeRozan, one of the league's best at getting to the line. DeMar DeRozan taking two shots. That's good from DeRozan. DeRozan just keeps getting better. Incredible longevity. Started every game after his rookie season. The Wizards making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. Bradley, he's checked in for Chicago. DeRozan hits them both. And Smitty talking about DeRozan, a key piece to this team, no doubt. You know, B.A., he just continues to improve his skill set. Already an elite scorer, now sharing the ball more than he has in his career. Also doing some dirty work on the boards, too. Now here's Gafford. 14 points for him, last game against Indiana. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Gotta be cautious guarding Beal because he's skilled at drawing contact while shooting. Bradley Beal! Take a break. At the line for two. two. Free throw drops for Beal. And Bradley Beal getting a huge contract this summer. Now, he committed to being with the Wizards for his prime. And there was some speculation he might leave, but he cemented his time in Washington for many years to come. Dragic has checked in for Chicago. And Beal drops them both. And look at this. This summer, a five-year extension for Bradley Beal. One of the richest contracts in NBA history. Over $240 million. For three, Dragic. The rebound by the Wizards. Martin left side. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And he's certainly elite. But does it surprise you that Bradley Beal has one of the biggest contracts in the NBA, Grant? And that's just how it works. I mean, give it a few years and all the stars will be paid the same. That said, it must be nice. Those are some big checks.
He's off on the first. The Wizards making a switch here. Davis is checked in. And a change for the Bulls. Green is checked in. And he's good on the second. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Here's White, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Wizards basketball. For Washington, they've got four of eight shots to drop in the second. Right, the pass to Davis. On the wing, Kuzma. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Kuzma's got his second bucket on the night. Anytime you watch Kyle, you see the production. Plus, you see the potential for more. Back to DeRozan. Outside, green. Five to shoot. Over Kuzma. Here's Bradley. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Bradley's gotten his second bucket. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Right, the pass to Barton. Now Davis. And Davis slams it home. And Davis is so unselfish. But defensively, you have to play him to score right there. Outside White. Dragic against Wright. Barton with a steal. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks a lot. Well, Brian, the Wizards have been aggressively reshaping their roster. What they haven't done is tear it down and start a rebuild. That's often the most popular route for teams stuck in the middle, but the Wizards seem to be hoping they can catch lightning in a bottle. Back to you. Now, no appetite for the restart, Ali. Thanks. Right against DeRozan. Kuzma for three. Chicago grabs the miss. Bradley's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Green. That one falls. Great yeah, assist by Dragic. Green's got his first points in this one. Good setup by Gorn. Keeps himself under control. Makes the right decision. Right outside. Tipped away. Chicago foul. Gordon Dragic. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Wizards. Daniel Gaffer taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Hachimura is checked in for Washington. Andre Drummond is checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for White. Free throws good from Gafford. Chicago has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. DeRozan outside. Pass to Caruso. He drops it from range. Caruso. Caruso's got five now. Alice Caruso's off the ball action is excellent. Remaining in the second quarter. Two minutes. 
Right against Dragic. Right pass to Gafford. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. DeRozan outside. Dragic outside. Pass to Caruso. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And about Caruso, he's not a stat stuff for Smitty, but he does everything. No doubt about that, B.A. Not flashy on the court, but at the end of the night, he's done a little bit of everything. The ultimate floor general. Free throw drops for Caruso. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Dragic against Wright. Pass to Gafford. And we've got 118 left in the half. Six to shoot. Wright, the pass to Davis. They get it again. Gafford finds Davis. Hachimura with the ball. Over Green. That one's good from Hachimura on the assist by Davis. Hachimura's got his first two points of the night. Dragic outside. DeRozan outside. Caruso against Davis. Caruso, the pass to Dragic. Here's DeRozan. Kuzma with the defensive effort. A tremendous defensive effort. Saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. DeRozan outside. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And here's Caruso outside. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got five rebounds tonight. A man among boys on the offensive glass. Andre Drummond picks up a lot of extra points this way. Kuzma against DeRozan. Kuzma, the pass to Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. And so it's the That's Chicago the Bulls with the liking score. their chances, Your ending reason. the quarter with a 15-point lead. They've been fantastic the pushing the ball. Six Fast eight, break eight. points, a key to this lead. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Billy Donovan here with us now, and coach your team finishing the first half in impressive fashion. What's working for you out there? Yeah, well, I think we got some stops. We play good defense, allow us to get out uh, in transition. That was helpful. So uh, just got to keep grinding away. Defense has been their anchor so far. We'll see if they can keep it up, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Every bond. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They lead by 15. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? When you can generate second chance points the way they have, you should have the lead. It's been a massacre on the offensive glass. They're running multiple guys to the window, showing great effort and toughness. Jack, what was your takeaway on Washington? Their effort on the board has been horrendous. That's a good way to get blown out. Only way they can turn this thing around is to start winning the rebounding battle. Win the battle of possession. Otherwise, they're my favorite. Avocado toast. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin.